What is up guys, this is AR here, and ever since the 2014 Godzilla film, I have been craving for more from this new kaiju universe. And since that it's been confirmed that Rodan, Mothra, and King Ghidorah will appear soon enough in later sequels, I have been speculating on what other monsters that could be established within this universe if they're given a chance. Now the monsters that are chosen are based on my personal opinion and are not listed like a top 5. No one monster is better in this list than the others because it would be cool to see any of these monsters come into this universe. Now let's get right into it. So we're starting off this list with Angiris because he is one of the most popular monsters among the fans, plus he's a staple in the Godzilla films. For those who wouldn't know about Anguirus, he is an ankylosaur-like kaiju that holds the title of Godzilla's first rival and his greatest ally. He is able to roll into a ball and roll around at high speed, but besides that, he doesn't have too many other abilities. Now, they could explain him as a relic from the same time as Godzilla and the Mutos, but since he's an ankylosaurid of some nature, he would feed on the natural vegetation growing at that time, as opposed to feeding off radiation. This would explain the lack of any abnormal abilities aside from his natural brute strength and spiky armor. <laughs> The second monster I would love to see in these films would be Titanosaurus, because he is a really strong monster, but he's only appeared in one film. He has been able to lift Godzilla, which in the movie that he was in would have weighed 20,000 tons, with his jaws alone. But he would make a nice addition because they could explain him as a more aquatic relative to Godzilla's species. I mean, think about it. They're both basically dinosaurs to some degree, and they're both adapted to aquatic environments. And while Godzilla is more amphibious, Titanosaurus could be more of a marine animal resembling the modern depictions of Spinosaurus, walking either on all fours or just about close to that, and being able to swim. Now this may be a bit of an obscure and possibly risky choice, but I feel Hedorah would be a different and cool addition to this monster universe. Originally, Hedorah was an alien organism originally from the Dark Gas Nebula in the Orion constellation, being comprised of a sort of acidic sludge that that he can fling pieces of as projectiles against enemies. Hedorah is a bit dirty to say the least. Now how they could explain Hedorah in these films is that he could be a colony of little organisms making up the larger body that has gone completely out of control. These creatures could be something from Godzilla's time, but I feel it would be better that they are present day bacteria that feed off of pollution. These bacteria would consume pollution that was caused by several giant monster battles, causing them to mutate and form into one bigger entity that can utilize the pollution against would-be attackers in order to survive in this new world. Now, Orga is another potentially risky choice because of the fact that he is essentially an alien organism that absorbed a bit of Godzilla's DNA, which mutated him into what he is now. This makes him an alien hybrid of Godzilla, so that may be hard to transfer and explain in this more realistic universe. However, since they are including King Ghidorah, who originally was a three-headed space dragon into this universe, now I personally feel that they would make King Ghidorah possibly a native relic species from Godzilla's time that mutated into King Ghidorah after ingesting some form of Godzilla, whether it be some of, he got hit by some of his radiation blast or even consuming some of his DNA. So it could really work the same way for Orga. It would just be a different species that has a different outcome once mutated. This would explain how they both have energy attacks that could stem from radiation, but have adapted differently on account of the different mutations. 
Now for my final choice, I really, really had to think hard. There are several others they could work within this universe, like Mogira and maybe even some of the other mechs that they would have, like Mecha Godzilla. They could even use Space Godzilla or even Gigan if they want to shoot for a more cosmic feel. But in my opinion, the monster that I'd most like to see, and the last one on this list is... <laughs> Now, Destroya is probably one of the most badass looking monsters in the entire franchise besides Godzilla. I mean, he's got brute strength, sharp horns and spikes, the ability to fly, and most importantly, the ability to expel the one thing that was able to kill Godzilla. Micro Oxygen that was originally from the Oxygen Destroyer. Now, for those who don't know what this device is, it was originally a bomb or some kind of detonation device that was used to successfully kill Godzilla in the original Godzilla 1954 film, but it also killed its creator. However, this substance was shown to have mutated a colony of microscopic crab-like organisms, eventually becoming the Mighty Destroyer. Now, the filmmakers could do a creative spin on this origin, keeping most of the same cues from it, but instead, scientists were in the process of making a device similar to the Oxygen Destroyer in an attempt to combat all the giant monsters. However, that would be a big failure in inadvertently creating Destroya, who Godzilla would have to rise up and eventually fight. So thank you guys for watching this video. So thank you guys for watching this video. What monsters would you use for the Legendary series and how would you explain them? Leave it down in the comment section below. Check out some of my other videos and take it easy. Peace.